Historical context. Historical context can impact literature in a number of ways. The author's writing can be impacted by the historical period during which it was written or the historical setting of the story. For instance, when Charles Dickens was writing, he was writing during a period where authors were paid by the word, which meant that his novels were very, very long. And that was the result of the time period during which his work was written. He was writing long novels because he knew he would get paid more for every word that he wrote. Dialect is something else you can pay attention to. The dialect could be what the author is used to using in his everyday life, or the dialect could be more related to the historical setting of the story. So dialect is something you want to pay attention to and ask yourself, is this the dialect used during the setting, or is this more of just the author using his own personal dialect that he's used to? Another thing to pay attention to with historical setting is major events that are going on. You want to be familiar with the time period during which a story is set so you can have a better understanding of it. So, um, one example is the Civil War. During the Civil War, slavery was the normal thing in the South. And whenever the Civil War is over, lots of slaves or people that used to be slaves wanted to tell their story. And so what came about were slave narratives. And these painted a picture of what slave life, slave life was actually like during that time. It was a, an actual account from that time period. And it, it kind of also told the relationship between slaves and slaveholders. So that source of writing is very valuable and it's become one of the most important literary genres for African American writers. Today, people may still write from that perspective in that time period, but the actual slave narratives that gave first-hand accounts were very important. Another thing to pay attention to with Civil War writing, slave narratives, um, anything from that time period are the themes. A lot of times you'll see themes of power, race, inequality. Because when slavery ended, it was because people were saying your skin color doesn't make you more or less of a person or a better or worse person. Everyone's equal. And while equal rights didn't come about till later, it started that theme of equality around the Civil War time. Another major event that's common is World War II. There are countless novels based around World War II events, whether it's based in Nazi Germany, whether it's based in America, um, as people are dealing with what was going on here. But one of the biggest things that you'll see is the topic of genocide, destroying a whole race. Um, so your Jewish Nazi relations, you're gonna see a lot of. Um, Anne Frank, very, very popular book, one that most people are going to know about, was based on this. And if you know the World War II era, then you know what to expect when you're reading. You know that the Nazis are trying to take over most of Europe. You know that the Jews are being persecuted. And you've already got that bit of background knowledge before you even read the rest of the book. And with World War II novels, you're again going to see themes of race, power, and democracy. Because in the end, people were going to say that having a government where some totalitarian dictator took over everything wasn't the best way to be. And you're going to see people highlighting the pros of democracy. So whenever you're reading, really pay attention to the historical context of the story because the historical period during which it was written is always going to have an impact and the historical setting is going to be very important for you to understand so that you can understand why the author gave the character certain motivations and why the author carried out the plot as they did. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.